breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Edo 2024, APC reacts to alleged Oshomoles imposition of Tinubu's preferred candidate as Edo 2024 heats up. So everybody is watching and they are waiting to see what the next line of action is. Everybody is paying attention. Edo is becoming a real center focus when it comes to election. Everybody wants to know what's happening. Oshomole very recently is, has been very, very interested. Of course, he's been interested since he left the position. Because most of these people you see, it, it just goes to tell you that Godfatherism still plays a very big center role in our politics. And it's just unfortunate that they don't want it to go. What is happening? Adam Soshomole recently, you know, has before the primaries has not been done no, to pick a candidate, so, but he has constituted his own his own primaries, his own people. Okay, he has constituted his own committee, so to say, to, and he has told Izeyamu and the rest of them that they should forget about contesting and that he has his own. You know, they should reduce the number. Even within that number, he has a candidate. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Edo 2024. APC reacts to alleged Oshomoles imposition of Tinubu's preferred candidates as Nigerians wondered. Edo heats up. Oshomole is currently causing a lot of tension in APC Edo state. The All Progressive Congress APC has described as baseless allegation that a do not senator Adam Sushomole was hell bent on fostering a preferred governorship aspirant of President Bola Metinubu and Vice President Kashim Shetima on the party. The Assistant Publicity Secretary of Edo State, Victor Oshobo, debunked the report of aspirant imposition ahead of the party's primary scheduled for February the 17th. Speaking in Benin, the Edo State capital yesterday, Oshubo noted that the lawmaker was a, was a strict man who follows due process and will not do any of that. However, there are, imposition, there are insinuations and real evidence of Oshomole having a committee which has streamlined the 29 candidates to six, which has excluded those who has a heart to participate in the election. Oshubo said the reports were aimed at creating chaos ahead of the primary election. He said the main, the, the money paid in the, in the, the money paid to carry out this publication, we will understand it in due process, that these people are trying to cause trouble in APC Edo states, where they want to say Oshomole is now the center and put an allegation against him. Allegation on Senator Oshomole endorsing or imposing a preferred governorship aspirant is baseless, considering the direct primary process yet to take place. Accusing Senator Oshomole is urging the spread of endorsement from President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Vice President Kashim Shetima, and the National Chairman of Abdur Abdurrahim Ganduji is a desperate attempt to create chaos. With the primary scene start, start with the primary screening starting yesterday, the time of these allegations raised suspicion. We know that Oshomole was only helping met with all the aspirants and said we should work together. However, rumor mongers have started orchestrating and looking for ways on baseless allegations spreading to put Oshomole in a wrong in a wrong light. They want to get him off the they want to get him off the election process, forgetting that he has been a governor in a do state and a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Whether they like it or not, he's from Edo State and he has a part to play. He's a member of the party and has a big part to play. So this is what is happening, my lovely, wonderful people. Some people are saying that Oshomole, you know, Oshomole um, is, is causing problem for the party. Okay, others are saying, no, Oshomole is not causing problem. Is it just a figment of their imagination? But is it really a figment of anyone's imagination? With all that is currently on ground, you know, Oshomole did really had that meeting where he said, you know, he just want to speak to the people. 
But some now are insinuating that that meeting was not just meeting, it was beyond just meeting. That Oshomole told them, you know, according to uh, Ize Yamu's followers and supporters, that Oshomole told them to go and rest, you know, that um, they should not pick up the forms, you know, because uh, they'll be wasting their time and what have you. So looking at the whole thing, could that be true? Is there something more to it? You know, so looking, it's, it's really very glary that something is wrong. Something is not right at the moment. And we all need to know the truth. Okay. Uh, those, you are the one to vote for your candidate. Whether APC candidate, PDP candidate, Labour Party candidate, you must know the people. It's not the part, political party they belong to. It is the individual themselves. Do you, do you trust the candidates APC is bringing to you or PDP or Labour Party? Those are some of the uh, things that must first of all be considered before going ahead to pick a candidate. As it stands at the moment, there are so many, you know, candidates out there that want to prove that you like it or not. You know, whatever they are saying or however way it is going, uh, they are saying, um, uh, you know, Bola Ahmed Tinubu has a particular candidate. Um, Oshomole wants to impose a con candidate on them. You know, even whatever, whoever comes out as an APC candidate, PDP candidate, Labour Party candidate, and other political candidates, I think Nigerians, eh, those are the ones to pick. Okay? We know that there are so abracadabra that can happen. And by the time the election comes, you will not believe that that is the same result. People you went out to vote for, I know that there are some things, there are some very magic ones that can be, that can just be shaken. And before you turn around, you begin to ask yourself if this is the same thing. I know. However, we must be resolute and reassured that although there are a lot of things that make it look like, you know, is it possible to really make a headway in all of this? We must, we must have faith. We cannot give up on faith because these people want to make us feel that, you know, we have no voice, nothing can be done. But that's not very true. So Nigerians, whatever the case may be, however way it is spelled out, uh, those you are the one to vote. It is not an Obaseki candidate. It's not an Oshomoles candidate. It's not a Tinubu's candidate. It's you who will vote that person. We know that INEC has a magic one. Whether you like it or not, INEC can wiggle it. But we, we, all those things will come to an end. Because we are looking at a, a country where you people's vote will count. And that is why we must continue to speak. So please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.